going to add my bridge and other pieces. Um, for your larger pieces, it might be easier just to use dots of glue. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that here. And it's easier than sticking it a bigger piece in the glue sponge. Okay. Now, my handrail is so skinny, it's kind of hard to get little dots of glue. If that's easier for you, that's fine. Or you could also just stick little parts of your handrail in there to get glue on the back. Okay. Now, one thing that I would want to encourage you, because look what has happened. I tore my, I measured it before I glued my post down, and depending on if you glue your post at the exact same spot, it might change the way your cable is. So this is a great example of how as artists we problem solve in the moment, because you can't plan every step out all the time. Or you might make an accident and then you gotta figure out how to fix it. So I would go ahead and get these parts glued down and wait to measure your suspension cable right before you glue it, okay? So what I'm going to do is do the same thing I showed you before. I'm gonna rip these pieces and then I will just make new pieces to go on the sides. So I will simply just take another piece of my scrap and I'm gonna cut it to match. If it's easier for you to trace it to make it the same size, you can totally do that. But I am gonna do this and then hope that that's enough. Okay, it's close enough, okay? So I will go ahead and get that glued down and there you have your bridge. If you really want to get fancy and you have more time, you could now take your scraps and if you wanted to make all of the little pieces or even more importantly these cables that connect it to the bridge, I'm going to show you what you could do. I have these fancy scissors that are actually for cutting herbs in the kitchen, but it cuts five blades at once. And so what I will do is bring around some pieces that you are welcome to use. Now, if they're not long enough, then okay, you would glue those on like this. And doing the same thing I showed you to measure them, put your thumb there and you can simply rip it to be the right size. So if you like that idea to add more detail to it, you are welcome to do that. Okay? All right. Happy making.